Howdy there, folks. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, and this is Mom. Mom. And she's here to build her first Hackintosh. You've never built a PC before, correct? No. And have you really even used a Windows computer? Maybe back in the 80s. <laughs> I don't even know if that was a thing back then. It was. Yeah, so we've used Macs in our house like my whole life, and so she's never built a PC. This will be her first time. But unless you're The Verge, building a PC is actually pretty easy. So to make things a little trickier, what I'm going to do is be blindfolded. So I won't be able to see what she's doing, and I'm going to have to give directions accordingly. Now, I'm ultimately probably not going to do a very good job, and so she's been given three lifelines. Lifeline number one is phone a YouTuber. She will be able to face chat, uh, or FaceTime rather, a tech YouTuber who can walk her through one question. She can ask one question, they can reply once, and that's it. The second lifeline is, hey Google, either I can tell her or she can choose on her own to perform one web search. That's it. You get a Google one thing, no more help. The last thing is remove blindfold. This one's pretty easy. I can take my blindfold off, I can look at what she's doing. She again can ask me one question and I can answer it unblindfolded. And then the blindfold goes back on. So you've got three lifelines, three chances. Do you think you can do it? Yeah. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> you keep looking at me. What, on your face. what was it? Everyone knows that when you get old and your mind starts to fail, remembering passwords can be <laughs> pretty hard. This video is sponsored by Dashlane, the best all-in-one service that will keep you safe online. To learn more, visit the link below. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the gear. We have right here a, what was this again? <laughs> we got a <laughs> box. <laughs> We've got a Fantex Pro M ATX case. This is actually a pretty good value. $90 gets you tempered glass and then it's pre-wired for LED RGB. Don't come with them, but you can add them later on. Pretty nice touch. That is going to hold all of the gear that we have here. Let's start off with the Gigabyte Aorus Z370 uh, Gaming 7 motherboard. It's quite a mouthful. This mom motherboard is basically what everything plugs into. And it will hold the CPU, which we have chosen a uh, Intel Core i7-8700K. It's a killer processor, about the top of the line consumer processor you can get now. There's a couple models that are better, but we don't talk about them. Six core, so it's going to be awesome for computational work. Now this will be outdated in a couple of weeks with the ninth gen processors, but given that processors only improve a couple percent year over year, this is still going to be a really good CPU for the next several years to come. Now in the GPU department, we decided to go a little bit more chill. We got a Radeon RX 570. Unlike Windows, because we won't be gaming, we don't really need that beefy of a GPU. Now some apps, like Final Cut Pro, can use hardware acceleration. And these GPUs are actually natively supported in macOS High Sierra and the new Mojave, which is excellent. So no drivers, nothing, it just plug and play and it works. That's a huge plus. And then after that, we've got our just generic stuff that every PC has. So we've got our NVMe uh, 950 Pro from Samsung. This is an M.2 SSD. So this is what holds the operating system and everything else. Um, it's a couple years old, but it still works really, really good. Uh, our other storage option over here is an eight terabyte hard drive. This is a slower, just old school spinning SATA hard drive, but it will be great for uh, kind of long-term storage and photos and stuff like that. And your big iTunes library. <laughs> No one uses that. <laughs> then we've got 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 memory. That's good stuff. We've got our uh, PSU power supply, which is an EVGA 750P2, uh, so it's a platinum power supply. And then lastly, but certainly not least, to cool the CPU, we have a Thermaltake Water 3 liquid all-in-one cooler. And um, yeah, that's it. Do you remember everything? Mm, no. Okay, so I can confirm that I, let me, I can confirm that I can't see anything. It's not very comfortable, this blindfold. And uh, now we're ready to go. So first you need to grab the motherboard. Okay. <laughs> Did you just throw that on the ground? No. I'm gonna have to clean that up <laughs> later. <laughs> Okay, so now let's install the CPU first. You're going to need to get the Intel box and then open that up. The little blue Intel box. Blue with purple? Uh-huh. Okay. The one that says i7 on it? That's your CPU. CPU? Yeah. Central processing unit? Central. I knew it was a processing unit. Yeah. Okay, have you got it pulled out? 
Yep. There's a little plastic tray and you've got the CPU in your hand. Yep. Okay, so try not to touch the little brass pads on the back. Unless you already did. Okay. In which case, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, there's going to be a little gold triangle on one of the corners. Do you see that? Wow. It's gold. Oh, so little, yeah, yeah. I saw it. Okay. I saw it. Good. Good. I'm like, it's really, there should, really tiny. <laughs> like, there should be one there. Okay. Now, That's open up the socket on the motherboard. There's that little arm. You can have to pull it out, and then you can lift the tray up. Right. The, the one thing we just talked about? Uh-huh. The little square on the motherboard. It says remove. Uh, actually, leave that part on, the black part, but there's a little metal arm, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, push the metal arm down, and then you can kind of pull it out and then lift it up. Okay. Okay, oh. you got the tray up? Yeah. Okay. There's going to be a little gold triangle on the motherboard, too. Oh, man. And you need to match the two little triangles up. You can also look at the notches to get a pretty good idea of where you're at. Because the two little notches on the side will also line up. I seriously don't see a baby triangle. I'm just gonna... Let's just go with it. Okay, so drop the CPU in. You kind of just drop it down yeah. by the side and it should sit pretty like perfectly. If it's not in the right spot, it won't sit down inside the socket. Does it just drop in or do you have to tuck it under a no, corner? No, just, well, it just should drop in. Okay. Is it, yeah? Are we good? I think so. <laughs> okay, let's hope so. It seems good. It's a very expensive boo-boo. Okay, and it, it's pretty firm in there. It doesn't really wiggle around that much. No. Okay, perfect. Now take that same arm mm -hmm. and then lift it down and make sure that the little, um, at the top of the bracket, there's a little knuckle. Make sure that goes underneath the screw yep. in the middle. Yep. And then just push it down. And you're going to have to apply quite a bit of force. Don't be nervous. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good sound. <laughs> that's a bad sound. <laughs> and then stick ah, it under. Okay, the little black thing just came off. Perfect, so, okay. perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so pull the black thing off and then everything's good. You just installed your first CPU. All right, now it's time to insert the RAM. Um, the RAM is those two little long sticks that say Vengeance LPX yep. on them. Okay, so grab both of those. And if you look at them, they're actually going to be notched. So there's, if you look at the pins, one side is kind of shorter than the other side. Yes. Now this board is supports dual channel memory. And what that means is that they do need to be in correct slots to make sure that they run as fast as they can. You may notice that there's like little tabs on the end. Yeah. You might have to pull those tabs open so that when you put those sticks in, it'll push those down. Do I have to push hard? Or? Uh, you, yeah, you quite a bit of pressure. And how do I know which way it's, it faces? Um, if you look at the <coughs> slot, you'll also see that one side is longer than the other. What? <laughs> okay, so if you look at the stick, right? Yes. Uh, there's there's more pins on one side than the other. Not that much. It's about uh, like a 60-40 okay, split. Okay, yeah, 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 I gotcha. Yeah, same as on the socket. So you will should be able to find them. Yeah, I think that was right. Okay. Yeah, if it went in, then it's, that's yeah. right. And I push a little bit? Uh, you got to push down pretty firm, just so that those little plastic tabs on the end kind of snap back in. Oh, it's scary. Yeah, don't worry. This stuff is bulletproof, unless you do it wrong and then you break it, but... I feel like it's got a mile to go. Uh, well. It wouldn't fit the other way though, so that's yeah, right. Yeah, did the tabs fold all the way in? That's what I'm having a hard time doing. Oh. Let's see, one more time. Yeah, that's weird, they seem pretty tall. I'm gonna try another slot just for fun. Okay, put it in <laughs> slot four though. Yeah, it is. Okay. Because there's no teeth, right? It just goes in. Oh. Oh. Did they get in? There's one. Okay. Good. Now do the other one. Okay. That was good. I'm parched. Oh, you've been working so hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, now we've got the RAM in, and now we need to install the SSD. That's that little tiny little gum stick sized board, right? So if this is the board, you actually kind of have to slide it in at like a 15 degree angle and then you kind of push it down and then it screws in. You should, ooh. Is are it the kind of on the top path that it goes in though? Are the standoffs already in? Oh, it's a standoff. It's a little screw that accepts another screw. Uh, it just has the silver box on it. Uh -oh. This might be a lifeline section. 
We might have to have removed the blindfold because Quinn didn't prepare properly. Well, okay, hold on, hold on. So inside the motherboard box, open it up. Okay. It should be pre-installed, but sometimes they're not. Um, okay, you open the box. I can hold the motherboard if you want. I just put it down. Okay. Um, inside, there's probably going to be some manuals. Don't look at the manuals. That's cheating. Stickers. Oh, you get? Oh, give me one. Let's put them on here. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Now what? what? How? <laughs> okay. Um, are there any screws in there? Um. No? Uh, yeah, oh. maybe. Are they little tiny black ones that are kind uh, of fat heads and really short? These are silver. Ooh, okay. Let are they, are they, are they, are they? Oh. A lot of things. Did you forget something? <laughs> no, I don't forget anything. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. There's a screw here already. Oh, okay. Well then. These just are spares. Oh. Maybe. Ta-da. Okay. Um, How do I undo it though? You just use it. Oh, you're going to need a torque screwdriver probably. Oh, don't drop them off. Here you go. Here's the iFixit Protect Tool Kit. <laughs> They're not a sponsor, but it is really nice. This actually isn't the Protect Tool Kit. It's called like the Mani or the Mighty or something. Well, this is going to be the most boring video you've ever made. Only <laughs> <laughs> because like, you're in it. Yeah, it should sit very flush with the screw. Sounds scary. I know. It's like it's like flipping up. Is that okay? It's, uh, yeah. Just a little bit, right? Like a diving board? Yeah, but just a little bit upwards? Well. Okay. How, much, <laughs> how much are we talking? Like a quarter of an inch or like two inches? Oh, like a half an inch. Oh, wow. Uh, push it down and what happens? It pops up. Does it push down nicely? <clears throat> oh, it, yeah. Okay. It's yeah. like a diving board. Wee. Yeah, but is there like a lot of tension? No. Or okay. Yeah, then just screw it down. You're fine. Okay. Oops. I've, right. got, the, I've got the spare. You need, need tiny to. hands to do these things. How hard should I tighten? Just snug? Uh, yeah. No, it doesn't have to be very tight. Just enough to hold it down. Okay. Okay, good job. You installed the PCIe thing, the SSD. Um, now we need the case, which is on the floor. And so I'll get it for you. Oh, don't hit your head. Oh. Where are you going to put it? I don't know. On top of everything? Huh. Okay. Okay, wait, there's other things on the table. Whoa. Actually, Pause. I've got some magnetic bowls for you. Oh my gosh, it tells where they are. Hold on, I got it. You're going to mess everything up. Hold on. Go straight. Just. You're... Oh, see, you just messed it up. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, it's kind of heavy. Try not to get your fingerprints all over the other side. And then you put it down against the wall or whatever. Okay. Yeah, this should be our case. No touching. Uh, there should be a box with some screws and whatnot. My water bottle. Damn, a box. Heck. <laughs> Seriously. Do you need a lifeline to get the box out? <laughs> <laughs> this is harder than... Okay. Did you get it? No. Why is this such a mean box? Box is... Stupid. Ugh. What do you do? I'm I seriously can't get the box out, so I'm just pulling it out. There. Can I just leave the box in forever? Oh my gosh, like it's stuck <laughs> inside the case. I got the screws out. No, you're gonna have to pull that out. It, it seriously won't come out. Like, outwards? It seriously box won't come out. Okay, listen, listen. Listen. Okay. Stop. Listen. Okay. <laughs> Open the motherboard box. And you should find what's called the I.O. tray, or the I.O. shield. Um, it's for your internet. It's like a little rectangle, and it's made of metal. 
that has, has a bunch of holes in it? Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. So like around here, that area, can't touch it, but there should be like a big rectangular hole. Yeah. Yeah. Just stick it in there and it kind of snaps <coughs> into place. Really? And make, huh? This is small. How do you put a small... Are you talking about the one that's like a stereo thing? Mm, what? Um, it's like no. super loosey goosey. Really? But it's like in there or no? It's in the groove. Am but I does it down? Kind of snaps in. Sometimes it's oh, kind of it tricky. Is. They don't always want to go in perfectly. It's, it's just kind of hanging out. Huh? Do I do it from the inside or that? Yeah, outside? from the inside. Oh, I got it. <laughs> there we go. Woohoo! Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, over, oh, wait. <laughs> so grab your motherboard. Okay. And then just stick it in. <laughs> okay. You gotta line up the, the fat side where like all the little ports are on the board. They should line up with the shield you just installed. Right? Yeah, so you kind of just like slide it in at an angle because there are screws, so you don't want to like... I hope these are the right ones. Huh? They're really small. They like have a round part and then there's a flatter part under it. I can't say. I don't know. Yeah, there's... Wait, what? Yeah, there's like a little round top and then it's flat underneath it. Yeah, because the... there's a round one just alone. No, no, not that one. Let's start with the motherboard one. So one should say MB. It's the fattest one. There's 24 pins across. Oh, yeah. So one side is probably split into two parts and one side is one part. Yes. Okay, the two part side is what you're plugging into the black box. <coughs> so there's probably one that says MB on it. Yes, there is. Yeah, are there two? Two what? Two MB slots. Yep. Yep. So plug each side Done. into it. Wow, okay. <laughs> Did they snap in? Yep. I don't get where you screw. I mean, I see screws on screw holes on the outside, but where does it yeah. screw to? To the inside of the power supply. Okay, maybe I have the power supply going the wrong way. No. Do you have the cords hanging out the side? No. Oh yeah, I think I did it. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know. I can't tell what you're doing. These probably stay inside. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, it does because there's, there's two ends. Right. The end that doesn't have yeah. the cables you want to have against the back Yeah, thing. that was not very clear. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, we need to do the front panel I.O. So there are four things that we need to wire up. One is the power button. One is the reset button, which this case probably has. I don't really know. And then the power LED and then the hard drive LED. Lifeline time. You need to Google this. Is Google going to help me? Yeah. Google knows everything. I'm going to tell you what to Google. Yes. <laughs> Google. Colors. Uh, or Oris. How do you spell Oris? A-O-R-U-S. Oh. Did it just down? Oh, it's downloading. Hold on. Oh, because it didn't just open in Safari. No. Ugh. That's weird. Does it matter if you plug it up the or down? Power switch and the reset switch don't matter. No, I just mean like. No. Doesn't matter. Upper. Okay. So. The swap places. Maybe. Okay. How long are they? Not very long. Uh, Mushrooms are quarter of an though. inch. Uh -uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, that's seriously all you got. Unless you use this. Do you know who you might need to call? Ghostbusters. Kyle. <laughs> How's he gonna help me? Well, he'll tell you if those screws are fine and what screws to use and if you should abandon the screws because... They're not that much taller than these. Yeah, but they're not the right screws is the problem. And there's no other ones in the bag. No. That fit. That have the right thread size. You should call him and ask what he thinks, especially given the airflow of the fans. Should we do it? Uh, sure, but you might have to ask with me. Nope. So, <laughs> you have to ask the question. I'll explain the situation, but it's all you. Yo. Hey, you're not Kyle. No, did you call the wrong person? What are you doing? Well, I guess you'll work. Hi, Austin. Ouch. That's mean, man. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? As you can tell, I'm blindfolded, and I'm here with my mother, and she's building her first PC. Oh. Hi, Quinn's mom. 
But her son, despite giving really, really good instructions, just can't figure it out. <laughs> so she's using one of her lifelines to call a YouTuber and ask for help. Do you think you can help her out? Okay, sure. What's, uh, what's, the, what's the problem? Okay, so here's the case. We have this fan in the front. Right. This one in the back. Okay. And Quinn said something about airflow coming through and out. Right. <laughs> Show them what's over there on that box. And that's what we were going to put oh, in on the top. That's not a fan. That's not a fan. That is a radiator. That is, uh, okay, that's a little more complicated <laughs> than just a fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so the idea here is that Quinn is supposed to help you while being blindfolded to install this? Yes. <laughs> I've done a great <laughs> job. Look at that. I'm amazing okay. so far. Okay. That's, that's not an easy thing to install. So what you need to do is you need to... First of all, well, there's two, two parts of it. The radiator part itself, so the, the part with the fans, that needs to go into most likely the top of the case. It depends on which case you're going to. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to need to go there. But then the other part, the, the water block, the, the sort of square part, that needs to go on top of the processor. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that my job? Am I going to have to figure this out? No, no. Thing? I can handle the water block, Austin. Just tell her she's wondering what screws to mount the rad to the top of the case. All we have are these little... And I can't tell her what screws because I don't know what she's looking type at. type screws. They should have some fairly long screws and they should be able to go through the top of it and to go through the fans. Like that? Oh, yes, yes, that's exactly it, yes. Okay. So what you need to do is you actually need to put that through the fans, into the radiator, and then into the case. If that is, yeah, if that is... Okay. Can, can I see the top of that? So... Of this what, one? What is, what is that metal piece there? Is that actually, is that folding out? Or yeah, it, it pulls, it slides back in. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, so you see the two rails um, above where, where each of the big squares, squares are. See the two little, like, long holes? These? That's yeah. where the screws need to go. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Best of luck, my friends. Thanks, Austin. Thank you. We'll say bye Good to Quinn. See you later. Oh, I can't do it. Okay. It's fine. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, so I got this stupid fan in. Now what? So you got it? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. So <laughs> you've got it. That's actually surprising. Okay, so you've got the little... The, the, the rest of it? The CPU block, yeah, the little dongle. So you're going to need to actually plug that into the bracket that we put on earlier. But before we do that, we have to apply some thermal paste because what thermal paste does is... It basically fills in the tiny little imperfections on both the top of the CPU, the silver part, and the copper heat block. And so when you fill that in with some paste, it promotes thermal conductivity. So you can pull the heat from the CPU away with the little block, which we're going to put on, and it goes through those tubes, because it's cooled by water, up to the radiator, where the radiator cools it down, and then it goes back into the cycle. Pretty simple, eh? So what we need to do is apply some thermal paste. So is there some over there? I think I've, it's in the long tube. Um, it's silver. It says Arctic MX2 on it. No. <laughs> it's not? Oh, it's over here. Oh, okay. I got it. All right. So you're going to need to pull the lid off, which you might need that. I'm a nurse. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't inject <laughs> me with thermal paste. Okay, so this part is actually pretty easy, but everyone on the internet makes a big deal about it. Putting too much, not enough, etc., etc. All you need to do is in the middle of the CPU, which is the silver part, squirt like somewhere in between the size of a grain of rice and like a pea. So like a pretty small dollop, straight in the middle, and then that's all you need. A mushy pea. It's fine. You got it? Yeah. Okay, Is that good. too much? <laughs> I don't know. I can't see you, but it's probably fine. <laughs> so take your um, uh, copper uh, heat block. And then there's four screws on the side, right? Mm -hmm. So just screw it into the four screws on the bracket. And then I think the hoses are set up such that they face downwards, so towards the bottom of the case, right? Okay. So that the logo is the right way up, rather. You can read it. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. Just screw it in. So all we have left to do now is the GPU, basically right in front of the slot, wherever that is. So am I right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't, can't tell you. So that's the fan. Hey, cheater. And that's what you're talking about? Uh, yeah. Okay. So remove <laughs> this one and this one and maybe this one, these three. Stop cheating. Hey, that's you. Penalty. I'm going to remove one of your life lights. 
I think you've used all of them. Hey, I used you, but you were blindfolded. That's only 50%. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now grab your graphics card out of the box. Out of this which red is devil the, box. Yep. Red devil. Isn't that, isn't that a nice name? Okay. Got it. Every box is hard. More fans? Don't worry, that's all ready to go. Okay. So, just grab it. This whole thing? Uh-huh. Okay. And then you're going to put it in that very top slot below the hoses. See how the bottom of it, there's like some little metal pins? Does it go up? It goes down. It goes... So the little pins So the fans are facing this way, but that it's standing straight up. Yep. Yep. Um, not too much force. Uh, did it click in? Yep. Okay. So put that in. Yeah, there's six, oh, six and two. This. Right. And this is one where, if you look at the cable, they kind of, you can make the six cable into an eight cable. Are those you ones, done? Oh, okay. <laughs> like those ones you'll have to insert at the same time, otherwise it won't work. So, did you put it in? Yep. You did? Yep. Okay, we're done. So, I can take my blindfold off. That looks pretty good. Look at you. I've got a cool mom. Or uncool, depending on how you look at it. All right. Moment of truth. We're all plugged in. We should be good. We got our power supply on. Okay, will you push that button in the front of the case? This? Yep. <laughs> oh, we got fans spinning. Our GPU's blowing. <laughs> the monitor's not. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't build the monitor. It's not my fault. No. <laughs> Struggling. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Hey, look at that! We did it! Yay! I don't know why the CPU, it keeps rebooting actually. I did such a cool... Oh wait, no, there we go! Cool job, ha! it's not hot. We got into window. You actually did. It's not, the radiator's barely spinning because it doesn't need to. Look, we're booted into Windows. Nice work! You did it. You built a PC. Okay. Can I not do it again? <laughs> Last week, tens of millions of passwords were exposed thanks to a Facebook hack. Maybe even yours. I'm the meat chef. That sucks for a lot of people who use the same password for Facebook as they do for their bank and, well, anything else. It's not sustainable and it isn't secure. Thanks to Dashlane, all 380 of my online accounts are secured with unique passwords that are only ever used once. And they autofill every single time I visit a website or open an app. The security dashboard even notifies me of new security breaches on websites where I have accounts. And I can even auto change passwords at the click of a button right in Dashlane. A new feature even checks the dark web to see if your private data is being bought and sold online. NCIX customers, <laughs> you may want to check that out. Viewers of Snazzy Labs can sign up for a free account at dashlane.com slash snazzy labs. And when you decide to upgrade to Dashlane Premium, you can save 10% at checkout by using the code snazzy labs. Well, folks, stick around for a part two where we actually turn this PC into a Hackintosh. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Give us a like. If you didn't, well, that other button works okay too. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos like these with less mom. And as always, stay snazzy.